Punch downs are one way to achieve color and flavor in your wine. Another path is carbonic maceration, where the fermentation begins inside the grapes. It's commonly used with Gamay and Beaujolais. We were fortunate that winemaker Jeff Huntermark was processing Gamay using this rare technique at Mount Boucherie in West Kelowna. So what we're doing is uh, setting up the, the ferment for a carbonic maceration. The, uh, we don't add any yeast, it's not, the berries aren't crushed, the berries are whole. So when the uh, fermentation takes place, it's an intracellular fermentation, meaning that inside those grapes, the, uh, the cells feed on sugar, then they start to create a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of CO2. So now that we've got the grapes whole cluster into this bin, we're gonna add uh, a layer of CO2. So I just got some dry ice, which I'll kind of sprinkle around inside. Don't wanna to put too much in there because I don't wanna drop the temperature. It's actually really cold dry ice. And we're gonna Seal it right up. And it's ready to go down the cellar. From the crush pad, we moved to the cellar to taste a tank of Gamay that was already in the midst of its carbonic fermentation, yielding amazingly fresh primary fruit aromas and the bright red colors that bleed from inside of the grape out. So it doesn't look any different. Than, uh, than it does at the beginning, which is the real key to this. We don't want it to be overly juicy. We just want it to be full clusters and, um, and you know, getting all that flavor from the skins. That's the, uh, that's the key to this. So if you were, if this was smell-o-vision, <laughs> you'd be able to smell the CO2 coming off of here. It's very, very strong smelling. It means that there's a layer of CO2 formed inside this, uh, this bin, which is great. After about a week, these berries will actually just explode. They'll actually explode, the juice will be released, and we know it's ready to, uh, to do traditional fermentation at that point. So this one is pretty close. You can see the, uh, the color is starting to come through in the, in the pulp, which coming from the skin, which is really neat, and that's the, be the best part of it. The really neat thing, though, is the flavors. So it really picks up a lot of strawberry, raspberry flavors. The, um, uh, the esters, it's very an estral uh, way of making wine, uh, picking up lots of uh, flavors, uh, very ripe red, red fruit flavors.